Everybody and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. Today's Gospel is from St. John, chapter 11, verses 47 through 54. In today's go- Gospel, Caiaphas, the high priest, is afraid that Jesus will stir up trouble with the Romans and cause the Jews to lose everything they had, that is, their temple and their nation. So he says, it is better that one man die than the whole nation die. These were prophetic words from the high priest, but what he did not realize was that the one man, Jesus, would not only die to save the nation of Israel, but indeed the whole world. Before we read today's gospel, let's pray for understanding. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O Lord, we pray that you enlighten our hearts and minds that we may learn your teachings and apply them to our lives. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. And now today's Gospel according to St. John. So the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered the council and said, What are we to do? For this man performs many signs. If we let him go on thus, everyone will believe in him, and the Romans will come and destroy both our holy place and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing. You do not understand that it is expedient for you that one man should die for the people, and that the whole nation should not perish. He did not say this of his own accord, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die for the nation. And not for the nation only, but to gather into one the children of God who are scattered abroad. So from that day on they took counsel how to put him to death. Jesus, therefore, no longer went about openly among the Jews, but went from there to the country near the wilderness, to a town called Ephraim, and there he stayed with his disciples. The Word of God. Well, have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow. And may God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto God.